Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Now as we're heading to the end of the year and the holiday season, one thing that I like to do that I know a couple of other people at Book Riot like to do is reread books. There's not really a lot of new books coming out this time of year, um, at least not new novels, and a lot of people are doing like best of lists and things like that, so you don't want to be reading new books because you've already like finalized your best ofs and also you're like planning for the new year so you are kind of just focusing on what you're going to be starting the new year with so I feel like the end of the year is just a great time to pick up books that you haven't read in a while um, that may have been favorites from years ago at least that's how I like to do it so today I have three books that I want to share with you guys which are all books that I had read in college so it's been at least four or five years since I've read them but they are books that I really really enjoyed and I've just been in the mood to reread them so the first one is Bel Canto by Ann Patchett. This was the first Ann Patchett book that I had ever read. I picked it up completely on a whim one time at the bookstore and I really really loved it. The story takes place in South America and from what I can remember there is this big party going on with a lot of really important people happening and there is this world famous opera singer who is invited slash hired to entertain all of the guests and everything seems to be going great until it turns into a hostage situation. One of the big reasons why I want to reread this book during these last couple of weeks of December is because this was actually made into an opera that is currently playing in Chicago at the Lyric Opera House and I actually have tickets to see it in January. So this one will be like 99% sure I will reread this before the new year or at least pretty early on in the new year because I want to refresh my own memory about to this story before heading to that show. But yeah, I really, really love this book a lot and I'm excited to revisit it because I haven't reread it since I originally read it in college. The next book that I want to reread is The Well in the Mind by Jen Phillips. This is a story that takes place in Alabama in the early 1930s and you are following these young girls. One of them ends up seeing a woman tossing her baby into a well and that sort of sets off this whole chain of events that happen during this year um, in this small town that really affects the them and forces these girls to kind of grow up and their eyes are opened a little bit more to the world around them. Again, this is another book that I haven't reread since I originally read it and I remember really really loving it. It reminded me a lot of like Fried Green Tomatoes. Fanny Flagg actually does and has an introduction in this book but it's kind of like if you took like Fried Green Tomatoes and To Kill a Mockingbird, that sort of like small southern town in America but also just following these kids growing up in these towns that sort of vibe I would say is pretty relatable to this. And the final book I want to reread is The Emperor of All Maladies by Siddhartha Mukherjee. I loved it so much. It's a pretty big book and if you don't know this is subtitled A Biography of Cancer. So Siddhartha Mukherjee does a really great job of just talking about the history of cancer and how it was discovered and found and how it's been treated throughout the years, things like that. He has a new book coming out next year that I believe is all about jeans. So I'm really excited to pick that one up and that along with my cousin has been reading this book and talking about it so it just made me want to pick this back up again. I don't know how likely it is for me to reread it in the next couple of weeks before the end of the year because this is quite a large book and I don't read quite that fast but I do have a couple of days off and if I have some time it would be nice to just sort of start this at least and maybe have this carry over to the beginning of the new year and just refresh my memory on this book. So yeah that's everything that I have for you guys this week week feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know if you've read any of these books or if you guys do your own sort of rereading I don't want to say challenge but a tradition towards the end of the year I feel like this is a thing that a lot of people like to do during the end of the year if you guys are doing any sort of rereading feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys are rereading and why you chose to pick that up 